Hi everybody! Um, I'm here today to do another manga review. Um, it's kind of a sequel to my Sailor Moon box set manga review um, because these two here are the codename Sailor V Volume 1, Volume 2 books that Nakio Takeuchi wrote before Sailor Moon. So before she started with the Sailor Senshi, she had Sailor V, who plays a part in Sailor Moon with the Sailor V video games, and anybody who's seen Sailor Moon knew or knows that Sailor Moon was a huge fan of Sailor V's before they even became Sailor Guardians. So, um, I got these two before I got the box set because these did come first, and I wanted to read the story that started it all. Um that Nyako Takeuchi started with. Um, it's really good. You really get a good background of Sailor Venus and who she is and how she got her power. Well, not how she got her power, but how Artemis found her. You learn her, a lot about her backstory, about her planets or her castle that she's from or lived in or whatever. Um, you get to see her go on the, on her own journey away from everybody else before she even meets anybody else. Um, and it's so funny because in the Sailor Moon manga and even in the Sailor Moon anime, they fought against the Dark Kingdom and Sailor V. Instead of it being the Dark Kingdom, they're called the Dark Agency. <laughs> oh, that was kind of amusing. And... Instead of, like, bad guys, they had, I mean, they were bad guys, but they were idols. You know, they were singers and actresses and, you know, pe villains being famous people to lure in, you know, energy and whatever they needed from the humans. And Sailor V had to stop them. It's so different than the Sailor Moon stuff because she's fighting on her own with just Artemis, you know, her love interests are the men she likes but don't necessarily like her back. We even find out how she gets that red ribbon in her hair because, believe it or not, when she first started, she didn't always have that red ribbon. Mm-hmm. People probably don't care about the ribbon, but I thought it was absolutely fascinating because, uh, right here, no ribbon. Mm-hmm. And then here, ribbon. <laughs> anyway, um, it's actually one of the longest, I think, mangas out of the Sailor Moon series, the Sailor V. Um, it goes up to eight volumes for book one, then book two, I think, does another eight. Um, so pretty, though, Sailor V. She has a crescent moon thing, which is really odd, because I'm like, she's not Sailor Moon. She's Sailor Venus. Shouldn't she have something with a V on it? I don't know. And then she also kind of has a uh, disguise pin type of deal. Kind of like what Sailor Moon had to change her appearance. Which, I, you know, I understand Sailor V came first. So, Naoko Takeuchi took it and gave it to Sailor Moon. But anyway, it was interesting. And then here is the last eight um, books. And it's so cool because um, you're supposed to see, I think, a cameo of Usagi and I think Naru in here somewhere. I forget. Um, so I looked for him. And I think I did find him. Um, and you get to see there's a, a villain in here that kind of looks like um, Kunzite, which is supposed to be her pair, technically, um, in the manga. Well, what Nyako Takuchi was playing around with a little bit. Um, at least he looks like Kunzite anyway. Um, and she did love him, or she fell in love with him. So, I mean, it was interesting. And then at the end, of course, she, she gets her memories. She learns and remembers that there are other Sailor Guardians, and she has a princess. And she goes to find them. Which, and then, of course, you know, into the manga, it's Sailor Moon and the other girls. And that over here, I'm kind of doing it all at once, um, are the Sailor Moon short stories. Book one and book two. I'm currently reading book two. I'm done with everything else. Um, I thought it was so cute because it's Chibi Yusa and Chibi Chibi. Um, now I know in, in my Sailor Moon 
box set review, when I was going through the books, I said it was um, Neo Queen Serenity and her two daughters. Chidi Usa, come to find out, is not Sailor Moon's second daughter. Sailor Moon, and apparently the Moon Queen at the time, is only allowed to have one child at a time. So Chibi Usa was Sailor Moon's daughter. I won't spoil who Chibi, uh, who Chibi Chibi is um, for anybody who has not read the manga or even seen the anime. I haven't, I've never seen stars, so I don't know if they s explain who she is or not. But I won't because I do know who she is. Um, but the stories are really cute. Um, they're just little side stories. Um, Chibi uses this picture diary, which is like uh, Chibi said jotting down her things, her ideas. There's the transfer students, beware of Tanabata, beware of cavities, and then it goes into the exam battles between the girls, um, Ami's first love. That was really sweet. I like that one. And then the secret Hammer Prince Hall. That was funny. Um... Those were the first side stories. Now, they made it into a book because apparently in the very, very first, I think, Japanese editions, I don't know if they did it in the English ones or not, the first English translation, um, they took the short stories and they were mixed into the manga. Um, so you would have, like, some chapters and then it would have a side story and then you'd have some more chapters and then another side story. Um, and then when they redid the English version, which is this one, they decided to take out all the short stories and make them into two books. Um, this one here has Mamoru and Yusagi. I thought, and then, of course, Luna in her human form. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, come on. Just Luna, Artemis, and Diana. I love seeing them in their human form. It's really very pretty. I love the color. And there's... Chibi Luna. And then this one here only has three stories. But um, one of them, the first one is Kaguya's Lover, which is actually the Sailor Moon S movie. This was the longest chapter, the longest story in this short story books. My first short story, super long. Oh my gosh. And then I'm on Casablanca Memory, which is supposed to be about Sailor Mars. And then there's Parallel Cell Moon, which I have not yet gotten to. But, yeah, oh my gosh, Princess Kaguya was forever long. I kind of struggled through it because I had already seen the movie, and it was kind of a boring chapter. It did pick up, but getting to the good stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, can we get there already? Come on, let's get to the good stuff. Um... But, I mean, it's all good. Um, I just gotta finish the last two, Casablanca and Parallel. I'm really excited about Parallel Sailor Moon. Because I'm curious if they have the Chibi Chibi or anything in there. Um, okay guys. Um, like I said, this was supposed to finish my Sailor Moon, um, manga collection that I have. Um, that I had done first with the two box sets that I had received. And these were the four to finish the manga collection. Alright guys, I will see you next time for another manga review. Bye!